great day learners welcome back after a long break so in this video we are going to see one AS level concept that is differentiation and integration I have some questions here to solve and I'm going to explain that how you have to solve those questions by using the easiest methods let's start with question then number one a curve is such that dy by dx equals root of 4x plus 1 and 2 comma 5 is a point on the curve find the equation of the curve so normally when you are differentiating any curve if it is in the y format after the differentiation it will be y dash then again if you differentiate it will become y double dash then again if you differentiate it will be y triple dash and it will keeps on going so when you are doing the differentiation this is the direction that it will take and when you are doing that integration it will take in that opposite direction because they are inverse operations to each other so now actually we are in this y dash position and they are asking the equation of curve that is nothing but y so y dash to y we have to go which means we have to do the integration so by integrating this dy by dx we will be getting y and so that we will be get to know what is the equation of the curve and the 2 comma 5 what is the purpose of this that everything will see it so the given one is dy by dx equal to root of 4x plus 1 and if you integrate this on the both sides then you will get to know but for integration we need dx so that we are going to bring this dx to this side so integral over dy is equals integral over root of 4x plus 1 into dx so this is what we are going to we are going to integrate it when you are going to integrate this integral over dy we will get y and integral over 4x plus 1 so we will simplify this first of all so this we can write it as 4x plus 1 power 1 by 2 that is the basic thing we know already the square root is nothing but power 1 by 2 so whenever we are going to integrate any function if it is in the form of ax plus b power n after the integration you know what will happen actually it will become ax plus b whole power n plus 1 the power will get increased by 1 and also the same power that increased power will take place in the denominator 2 and if it is just x power n then this is what you will be leaving it but if it has in the form of ax plus b then the coefficient of x also you have to include it that is a so according to the one formula what i have explained this is going to be 4x plus 1 power 1 by 2 plus 1 so 1 by 2 plus 1 is nothing but 3 by 2 whole divided by 3 by 2 will take place the denominator multiplied by a that is nothing but the coefficient of x it is 4 so we are going to simplify it <coughs> now this 2 and this uh, 4 we can we can simplify it also don't forget to add the constant c now that answer is 4x plus 1 power 3 by 2 and 3 and 2 if you multiply it together we will be getting 6 plus c is equal to y actually we have got that equation but we did not get what is that uh, c value is so we have to find out what is the c value also so that is the actual purpose of the point what they have given so this point you have to substitute here to get to know what is the c value so they mentioned it is point is 2 comma 5 so if you substituted 5 is equals so 4 to 8 so when you are substituting x as 2 4 to 8 8 plus 1 9 so 9 power 3 by 2 by 6 plus c 9 power 3 by 2 maybe you can even put in your calculator or 9 power 1 by 2 is 3 3 power 3 is 27 so 27 by 6 plus c is what 5 or you can write this as 5 minus 27 by 6 is equals c and if you simplify this you will get 3 by 6 equal to c that is nothing but 1 by 2 so we can write the equation of the curve as y equals 4x plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by 6 and plus 1 by 2 this is the equation of the curve now we are going to solve the question number 2 it is the curve with the equation y equals x cube minus 2x square plus 5x passes through the origin show that the curve has 
no stationary points so it's some printing error so it has no stationary points so this curve has no stationary points which means y dash value when i'm when i will get a stationary point actually to get the stationary point i should find y dash and that i have to equate it with zero so this equation the one what i have differentiated that equation if i solve it i will get to know what is the x value I mean that will give the x coordinate and if I substitute in y they will get the y coordinate too but here they said it has no stationary points so first we will differentiate so y dash is equals to so x cube when I am differentiating x cube the rule of, of differentiating x power n if I differentiate I will get n into x power n minus 1 I mean that power should be a coefficient and then existing power should be subtracted by 1 which means this will give 3x square minus uh, 2x square will become 4x and this will be 5 so this is what the equation that I have to equate it with 0 so that only I will get that what is the stationary point is but I should prove it it has no stationary point which means maybe I can find the solution of it and I can show that there are no real roots which means it says that there are uh, no turning points or else I can even use the de de discriminant value which is nothing but the nature of root I can find for this equation so del is b square minus 4 is e I can find that it is nothing but minus 4 square minus 4 into 3 into 5 so minus 4 square is 16 minus 4 3 is at 12 5 is at 60 so actually I am getting negative number if it's negative that is less than 0 when the discriminant value is less than 0 then I can say that uh, no real roots so if I have no real roots which means no turning points right yeah we'll go to the next subdivision um, yeah actually here you have to concentrate a bit more because it's the easiest one but still you have to concentrate more on this denoting the gradient of the curve by gradient of the curve by m so you are going to write the gradient of the curve as m which is nothing but gradient is nothing but that y dash value so what did we get here in y dash it's 3x square minus 4x plus 5 is what we have got so m is this value so denoting the gradient of the curve by m so m i have denoted as the gradient find the stationary value of m what does it mean by so how will I get the stationary value for m? m is nothing but gradient then how can I find that it's stationary value which means you have to consider this m is an equation right so it's a kind of equation so for that you have to find out the stationary value because it is not that exact gradient or it's not exact numerical value to say that it is a gradient it's a number it's a 5 by 3 4 by 2 it's minus 4 by 2 like that you can't say because we have equated the previous differentiated value the gradient i mean the y dash value we have taken that as m which means it's almost equal to uh, a curve so we know how to find out the stationary value or stationary point for a curve if you are considering m as the curve so m dash will be i mean m dash will give the gradient i mean stationary value so you have to differentiate this again so it is going to be 6x minus 4 and as usual what did we do here to find out the stationary value we have uh, differentiated and we equated with 0 and here the curve is m so m dash we will be equating it with 0 so 6x minus 4 equals to 0 so x value we are getting as 2 by 3 because uh, yeah if you solve this equation you will be getting 2 by 3 but actually we want to find out uh, stationary value which means m value we need to get it if you substitute this x value here then you will get to know what is m is so m is equal to 3 into uh, 2 by 3 square it is 4 by 9 minus 4 into 2 by 3 plus 5 so here you can simplify and write as 4 by 3 minus 8 by 3 and this 5 also we can convert or maybe we can put it in the calculator it is 15 by 3 so it will be easy for us uh, 4 plus 15 it's 19 minus 18 it is 
19 minus 8 is 11 11 by 3 we are getting so that is the grade I mean uh, stationary value of M so we found this so that's it then we need to determine its nature nature which means whether it is maximum value or minimum value that we need to find it so how to get it m dash value we have so already to find out the nature i mean either it is a uh, maximum or minimum point we will be finding the second order differentiation but not for the curve here for the m because m is the new curve here so m double dash you have to find it so when you are finding m double dash if you differentiate this this will become only six it's actually greater than zero whenever you are getting the second order differentiation as greater than zero then the turning point is minimum so it is minimum whenever double grade second order differentiation is positive then the nature is minimum if it is negative the nature will be maximum yeah, so that's it we'll go to the next one showing all uh, necessary working find the area of the region enclosed by the curve the x-axis underline x equal to 6 x axis which means you should do integral over y dx and they asked the area between uh, the line x equal to 6 which means suppose if the curve is uh, going like this until x equal to 6 you have to find which means you have to start from 0 to 6 so from 0 to 6 you will be taking maybe we can write the limit as 0 to 6 what is y? y is given in this question it is x cube minus 2x square plus 5x so I just have to replace it integral over 0 to 6 x cube minus 5x square sorry I just have to change it I have taken the wrong one it is x cube minus 2x square plus 5x into dx this is what I have to integrate it so now if I integrate x power 3 I will be getting x power 4 divided by 4 minus 2x square if I integrate I will get 2x cube by 3 I will get plus 5x if I integrate I will get 5x square by 2 and then limits what I have to substitute is 6 to 0 and here I no need to substitute 0 because if I substitute instead of x as 0 the whole value will be 0 so maybe I can avoid that step or simply I can put that as 0 uh, so x power 4 is 6 power 4 by 4 minus 2 into 6 power 3 by 3 plus 5 into 6 square by 2 minus 0 because this lower limit gives only the 0 so 6 power 4 is uh, thousand one minute thousand two hundred and ninety six and when you are going to divide this by four we are getting the answer as three hundred and twenty four minus uh, six hundred and six power three is two hundred and sixteen and if you divide that by three we will be getting seventy two and when you multiply by two we will be getting one hundred and forty four plus this is 36 when you divide by 2 it's 18 5 plus 18 90 so 324 minus 144 plus 90 gives 270 so 270 units is the area so that's it we'll go to the next question a point is moving along the curve y equal to 2x plus 5 by x in such a way that x coordinate is increasing at a constant rate of 0.02 units per second so x coordinate is x increasing rate is 0.02 per second so second means it's we are differentiating this with respect to the time so dx by dt is given as 0.02 find the rate of change of y coordinate so which means we have to find dy by dt we have to find it what is that okay so y equals 2x plus 5 by x is given if i differentiate 
this i will be getting dy by dx how i will be getting dy by dx because the y is in terms of x so if i differentiate it i will get dy by dx dy by dx equals if i differentiate 2x i will be getting 2 if i differentiate 5x i will get minus 5 by x square because whenever you are going to differentiate a power x a by x power n if you are differentiating first it will be turning into negative and a into n the power will be the uh, numerator it will multiply with that numerator and the power will get increased by one so that only this plus 5 becomes minus and then the existing power is 1 so 5 into 1 is 5 divided by existing power is 1 here so it becomes x power 2 so this is the dy by dx value now dy by dx now it is actually uh, dy by dx which means why we differentiated in terms of x but we are going to write this dy by dx as dy by dt divide by dx by dt usually this will be saying it as a parametric equation when x coordinate it is in terms of some other variable and y coordinate is in terms of some other variable we'll be using this to find out the dy by dx but they gave in the reverse way so dy by dx can be written as dy by dt dx by dt now you maybe you can simplify and check dt dt will get cancelled so it reminds us dy by dx maybe you can ask we can again write dy by dx itself but it won't make any sense because we already have dy by dx that we are going to change into what we have it already so that is equal to 2 minus 5 by 1 square where that one came you just see here they gave x value is 1 so it's 2 minus 5 by 1 square dy by dt that is what we need to find it so let's write that as dy by dt itself dx by dt value they gave it as 0 0.02 and if you simplify this 2 minus 5 by 1 square it is 3 so dy by dt if you move this uh, 0 0.0 to that side it becomes 0 0.06 yes it's over uh, we'll go to the next fourth question that is a curve is given and they are asking where the coordinate intersects the x-axis actually first we need to find out what is the curves equation is after that only we can do it it's same like the first question what we did so if they have given dy by dx and they are asking to find out what is y we have to integrate it so if you are going to integrate this first of all we are going to rearrange this dy is equals 12 divided by 2x plus 1 whole square so better we will write this as since we are going to integrate it we can write this as 2x plus 1 power negative 2 we are moving the denominator to the numerator and we will multiply this with dx we will integrate it then only we will get y so d integral over dy is equal to y and when we are going to integrate this part as i said before first we will increase the power by 1 so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 then that power will come to the denominator 2 and the coefficient of x also will take part in the denominator that is 2 plus the constant c you have to add it to get to know c you will substitute this point 1 comma 1 so now um, if you simplify this we will get 6 and minus can brought into the numerator so minus 6 divide by why divide by why i did not write this term because it's negative power so let me write it in the denominator it is 2x plus 1 power plus 1 is equal to y plus c and they mentioned the point is 1 comma 1 if i substitute that 1 equals minus 6 divided by 2x it is 2 2 plus 1 3 3 power 1 is 3 so if i simplify this i'm getting 2 so 1 minus 2 minus 2 will come here it will be plus 2 is equal to c c because 1 3 is at 3 2 3 is at 6 right side value is negative 2 negative 2 will come here plus 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to c so we came to the equation that is minus 6 divided by 2x plus 1 plus 3 but they are asking where it intersects the x-axis if the curve is intersecting x-axis we know y value is 0 so if you put y value is 0 then you will get to know what is the x-intercept is so 
minus 6 divided by 2x plus 1 plus 3. So this is the thing, sorry, it is 3, sorry. Um, here is what we need to find it that is the unknown part so let's move into left side so minus whole part minus this whole part will pa become positive so 6 divided by 2x plus 1 equals 3 we can exchange these two so 6 by 3 equals 2x plus 1 what I did I brought this 3 to this left side and 2x plus 1 I moved into that side uh, then now I can simplify it so I'm getting 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 so 2x equals 2 minus 1 it is 1 then x is 1 by 2 if x is 1 by 2 the coordinate is 1 by 2 comma 0 why it is 0 because it is intersecting x axis that time that y value will be 0 so the coordinate is 1 by 2 comma 0 this is the actual final answer maybe here you can even uh, uh, highlight this equation of the curve because this also will be having some parts of marks that's it um, so in our future videos we'll be seeing this type of AS level and A level 9709 as well as 9231 mathematics questions maybe with the four questions five questions will meet frequently hereafter thank you for watching and you can suggest what are the topics that you have uh, doubt I will give you the video on that Thank you guys.